Hello and welcome one and all. Today, today we're going to be having a look at this week's Tavern Brawl. Um, there should be a link on the screen to last week's one just now. And there should also be links to each individual game in this video in case you don't want to watch the video all at once. So with all that let's get into the Tavern Brawl. This is looking to be uh, an interesting one, I like not having to make a, a deck, it's a bit quicker. I am another boss versus boss one. I definitely prefer the constructed decks ones, they're more interesting and change stuff up more, but these are nice, just a quick game and stuff. <laughs> Rafam sounds like a wrestler. But yeah, it kinda sucks that we've had so many reruns the last few weeks. I haven't bothered covering them. Especially because I hate randomonium. Like, I'm just sick of it and it's so random. <laughs> It was nice at first, but it's too much. Um, Imp, I think. What do the hero powers do? Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's basically Kel'Thuzad's card ability too. Can't remember what actually either of these guys are like when you do them on their adventure. Now that I think about it, I don't think that's... Is that Kel'Thuzad's ability in Naxxramas? I can't remember or so. Well, that's no good. Hmm. Um, but I think I'm going to do that and use the hero power. So that is the staff first piece. Okay, so I imagine that ups the quality of the minions you can get from it. Oh, cool. Hiding the card. What's the ability? Hmm. Wow. Well, I can get rid of that at least. Easily enough. Um, so let's do that. And just have a four mana um, to do that, and then yeah, and then play that. At least we're not wasting the mana. Then yeah, I think so. Seems I mean, eh. You shall not I guess it's probably better. Die. I did think that was going to be a duplicate, but I don't mind. Snakes hopefully aren't an issue. Oh, I didn't notice I had the word death. I guess good at death, Tigan. But, eh. Probably death that. Hero power, I think. Um. So yeah, let's shadow or death it. Yeah. Get deathed. Would be nice if on these pre-made tavern brawls they had all the cards in gold. Just as a nice extra fun type thing, you know. It would be cool. What do you do? Some the random undead. Great. Interesting. I wonder how hard that was for Bless to make, seeing as like undead isn't a card type like 
beast, for example. Eh, not bad. How is it for our current situation? No, we need more minions, so that probably is good. But need to also really get rid of that. So I think pain it and tomb pillager. I think, yeah. Thank you. I wonder how high that goes. How many pieces you get? I should know. I probably four, judging by the adventure. I think there's four pieces on the adventure mode. Burn my hand. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, it's got zero attack by default then. So I, if I was able to completely burn it, I could make it useless at least. Um, kind of wish I had a one cost card, but oh well. I think um, I think play that. And uh, Dark Peddler gives that an extra attack. Does it really matter? No. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Dark Peddler. Now I've got a one cost. Okay. I am going to take Elven Archer so I can get rid of that snake then. Glad I went for Dark Peddler. Can't remember the combination. Yep, I guess that's it. Okay, I would quite like to do that, but it might not be best idea. Um, eh, mind you, eh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Ooh, a random legendary that costs four less too. Fuck Knowledge yeah. Is power, and I, I learn. Huh. I <laughs> wonder how that'll work. Will that work? I'll give it a shot. D. Will that work? Will that be like adding an extra piece? No, that's at full pieces. Anyway, so weird. Have they done something special? Like have they made that so that the effect will work? Interesting. I'm definitely playing that next turn, even if I shouldn't. <laughs> no, Flame Strike. Uh, uh, I'm still playing that. That's Khan anyway, so. What does it do? Is it doing? No, damn. Oh well. Um Right, okay, yeah. Works the same way as most secrets, it's it'll be the one that's been on the board longest, um which was crap, I don't know. Was it Dark Cultist? I think. I think it was Dark Cultist that was on the board longest. Hey, patchwork. You kind of wasted that though, didn't you? No, wait, I had Dominion, didn't I? Dope! Oh, the minion can only take one damage at a time. Oh, it's a sweet guard. 
Is that going to be new in the expansion? Or is it just for the Tavern Brawl? Like these. It's got to be just for the Tavern Brawl because that's OP really. I want to play that but I don't see it living. Let's go with that. I like Chromagus. I would rather play Chromagus but Oh well. It's a very good card. One damage at a time means five attacks. That's amazing. I want it. The damned stand ready. Beginning of your turn, thankfully. Yeah, I didn't think he would attack it with that, that's a waste. Sweet. Alright, we're in a good position now. Wait, let's um hero power first. Yes, we are in a very good position. So you can die, you can get full either. Oh, it's random enemy minion. Okay, hang on. Um, in that case, see damage to you, which is a waste, but... Oh well. Really did not want you to be the one that was destroyed, because then your death rattle works, but oh well. Is that effect? And it just kills a minion, so I'm not poisonous 2 2 slime. Hmm, interesting. Oh, and poisonous is in. kill stuff, like my ex now and that. Cool. And sweet, two of these. Wait, hero power. Hmm. I actually also don't want it overload. But. The alternatives to that. Yeah. Right, well, we need to play one of them to kill that. We also want to kill that. Um, yeah, which is pretty hard. I think I think we'll we'll just kill that and play Neptulon then. See what more looks we get as well. Okay. Um I think I'm gonna save them. I don't want them to just die. In fact no, I'll play that one. Seems that one can get buffed and stuff. And um I think we'll do that. <coughs> Maybe shouldn't have. Maybe should have just attacked his face, but eh, I don't know. Well, Grubulus is up to, well, was up to a high health. Thankfully, it is was. Ooh! Wait, didn't that say 5-5? Five, five? Oh, 5-2. Five, Alright. And for 8 mana? Wow, fuck that. An Arcanite Reaper. I mean, I'm sure it is still value. How much is an Arcanite Reaper? Is an Arcanite Reaper 3? Yeah, I mean, in an actual deck, it would kind of mean you didn't have to... You know, it would save you a space in your deck. Or give you an extra Arcanite Reaper available or that, but... Eh. Oh, wait! Deals double damage to heroes. Oh. Okay, wow. Yeah. I'll take all that back. To all enemies. Seems good. Kinda wish I had another one of those, but um yeah. I mean I do have two of these, so I could just kill stuff that way. Ha! <laughs> Luckily I've got two. Hero power, even though I was going to murder it, but I'm not too bothered. 
I think, um, what do you do again? I'm the random undead. Don't go do that. And hurry up! Phew! Just in time! Phew! Did lose our Murloc though. Which was going to become a 4 1. And also give that an extra attack. So, meh. But I don't mind too much. A random spectral gothic. Is that, um. I remember a fight in that drama where it gave you, like, thingamajigs. And that damaged you or something, and you had to get rid of them. Can't remember exactly. Is that those? Oh. Okay, so we can use our entire hand. Um, but I don't think we well. I don't think we really need the dark bombs. Interesting. That's sex. What is the spectral gothic? Yeah, aye. So it's those. Kind of like a dot. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna Marlock. I'll just save the dark bombs. No using them on the hunt the creeper, especially when it means that it'll just kill both of those instead of one of them. Ah, Chromagus is gonna die though. Chromagus has been really helpful, actually, and really good. So that's unfortunate. It does mean we at least keep the Grim Scales though. Do is figuring out a way to get rid of that. Oh, I could dark bomb it. Yeah. Um. Do we boom? We need to dark bomb that first. Let's do that. Crumb. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, can we kill him? Um, 7, 6, 13, 15, 17, plus 10, eh, it's 27. Oh, wait, I think, I think we, we can kill him. Right? Yeah, sweet. <laughs> brilliant. Not so much for him, but brilliant for me. Right, let's hope we get Kelkazad now then. As you can see, I've been saving up my gold for Whispers of the Old Gods. I was lucky too and got a large amount of gold for just having one, can't remember exactly how many, but just won a load of games in play mode. So yeah, that was good too. Perfect timing really. Sweet, we got Kel'Thuzad. <laughs> that sounds so wrestlery. Oh, interesting. Fellow horseman. I think we'll do that. Yeah, patchwork's not exactly very good for a starting hand, but oh well. Probably coin out Mad Scientist. Depends what he plays, though. I can't imagine there'll be anything worth, worth um, coining Freeze... Um, not Freeze Bolt, Frost Bolt. Yeah. So, my scientist. 
I need to get used to playing around Counterspell more to... I get hit by Counterspell all the time. Even times like where I'm going to use two spells and one of them I don't mind losing. I end up playing the more important one first so I need to get into the habit of not doing that. All enemy minions, wow. So will we Frostbolt that or Resurrect? What's our secret? Duplicate, let's Resurrect. <coughs> That way we'll get loads of mad scientists and loads of secrets. Hopefully there's enough in the deck. I love Hearthstone's music. Is that Finley Merluckington's office? It's got a portrait of him. It'd be kind of weird if it was one of the other archaeologists office. Or however you say that properly. Offices. I think. <laughs> um, Hagen. Maybe better to save Hagen. I mean I could just do that again. And just kind of do that the whole game. And just mad scientist to all hell. It's kind of tempting, honestly, but I think we'll um, play Dark Cultist and then next turn play Mad Scientist and Hero Power. Oh wait a minute, I never noticed that guard, what are you? Two random Nax bosses and trigger their battle cries. Kind of annoying. But oh well, what do you do? Enemy minion die, summon a 1 1 skeleton, and give your other minions 1 1. So I think that's similar to his boss ability. Let's see what we get. Okay, Dark Cultist is probably the better of the two to have gotten. But oh well. I can't remember how many. Have we played. Has there been a total of. Before we hero powered, had we played two mad scientists or one? I can't remember. I think we'd only played the one, so it was 50 50. What you got there? <clears throat> so many secrets. Oh, and another duplicate. Wonderful. So I'm keeping that then. And then. Um, let's. I could frostbolt that instead of. Yeah, yeah. That seems better. Gives us a clear board after hiding. I think, unless he can attack. Oh, so he can attack heroes then. Hmm. As vaporize attacks your hero. Okay. So we get much Higgins, it's looking like. From our duplicate. I was kind of looking forward to a ridiculous amount of mad scientists again, but that's fine. The deck might also have more than two duplicates in it. Probably not, but maybe. So, um, I think what's best just now is to double Hagen. That's 8 damage to his face, just from them, and they're excellent cards for the two, aren't they? 4-5 for 3. So now he might start to claw back the game. Because that hero power makes a big difference. I wouldn't have won the last game without it. It's interesting to see that he got all the way up as well. I imagine, I guess, it's designed so that it doesn't take too long to work. Like, you're not, it's not going to end up being the last card in your deck to get it full or that. Um, I think that... The only thing is I can't kill an enemy minion this turn. 
Oh well, actually I can. So yeah, let's do that. And then vaporize. No, wait, what am I doing? Not attacking that. Vaporize might hopefully work too and kill something again. Oh wait, I'm kind of relying on RNG here though. Come on. You. Oh, and it gives plus one one to the skeleton too. Sweet. Oh, yeah, stop decking my hygiene. Still, even with that hero power, I can't see him clawing back at this point. Just a bit too far ahead, really. So, what do we play? I think patchwork to get rid of that. And then... I obviously don't want to... Mm. It leaves me one attack short though, unfortunately. To actually kill that, I'd have to rely on Tygen again. Which is... Not great, but... Oh, wait a minute! Oh wait, it's random. Thank fuck, it killed the right thing. But yeah, I'm forgetting that that would happen again, so we're cool. Much damages. Mm, flame strike. Still. Hmm, okay. I think just gonna darkness call and stuff. Could have low said and gloose maybe and could have been good, but um nah. Where is the fellow horseman? Are you the fellow horseman? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh and sweet, and they get the weapon. And he's dead because of the weapon's ability. Cool. Sweet. I think we'll do one more, and um, then that'll be it. Get a second try at one of the heroes, and just can see what they're like. So we get Kelthazad again. I think we'd have rather touch the farm, just because. Kelsey's is out twice in a row, it's not quite as good. Not quite as fun. So I think we'll um I'm tempted to keep a new Brakan. I think I will. It's, I'm sure it's a mistake, but eh. <coughs> Sweet, we've got Hagen again. Job's done. Hagen, old buddy, old pal. So, we're on the Creeper. On the Creeper. Actually, that's a pretty awful card for Kelsizad. That really screws up your hero power. It's not too bad if you get another Haunted Creeper, but getting one of the Spectral Spiders, that would suck. So, Hagen again. Which, honestly, just that, just playing Hagen on a clean board makes me think we've won <laughs> after the last game, but really it was probably Mad Scientist that won us the last game anyway, so we'll see. Yeah, see, how much cooler would it be if all of these were gold? Gold heroes, gold hero, um, hero abilities and cards and everything, would be great. Should be the same on Heroic Adventure mode, actually. I think we'll a new Brakan. Wouldn't have minded hero powering for the chance of getting Hagen back, but 
then a waste two mana. So and the Nubrakan is really good too. So yeah, isn't or is it a Nubarak? That's the rogue card that costs more and goes back to your hand or something. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. So I'm thinking Loatheb since he doesn't have any minions, so taunt's not too important and freeze isn't too important. And they waste the mana. Yeah, Loatheb is the only real option. Plus it does also seem like a good time to play with Loatheb and kind of cock block his spell. Yeah, sweet, I didn't know you could put the candle in. Can I light it again? Yeah. I would have preferred if you had to click the fire and then click the candle, Come that would be cool. Grubulus. Um so I think um Lady Blumo and Hero Power. Hero Power first to see what we get, it might change things. See? Fuck you, Haunted Creeper. What do you do? Look at It's twice in a row. Hmm. Um, so I think we'll just use these to clear his board. I haven't really played enough games to tell, but so far it's seeming like Kel'Thuzad's probably the better of the two to get. I guess because Rafam has such a ramp up time. Buying or selling. <laughs> I would imagine if that is even the case, like if Kel'Thuzad is actually better. I would imagine so though. Because you have to play a 3 mana card just to get that up to uh, an unstable portal. Yeah, Kelsizad's ability is really good. So Kelsizad probably is the better of the two. Um. Eh. Hero power first again, see what we get. Oh, come on! Like you, yeah, yeah. You burn in hell. You, yeah. I wonder where spectral spiders are in World of Warcraft, so I can go and fucking kill them all day. Grubulus, I think. Oh, sweet. What do you think, Bigglesworth? Um. So use that since it doesn't do any damage. Oh wait, I wasn't paying attention, I didn't know if Anubra Khan, Anubarak, I don't know, whoever he was, died. I did not notice that. I think to celebrate Whispers of the Old Gods, I might go back in, in World of Warcraft and um, solo Anchorage, Kalkathun. I've never done it yet actually, I keep meaning to. <clears throat> He's kind of catching up now. Okay. Hero power first. See what we get first. Finally! Something that's not a stupid fucking spectral arsehole. Bad scientist, because we had great success last time and I definitely don't want another bloody fucking creeper. Imagine. I don't even know what it is, but I can just imagine a bird like um, bathing in that, you know, like it's a bird bath. But I think it's actually a, a small ball in the middle of magic energy. It's the first time I've noticed that. Okay, so it probably won't attack my face, really. 
So I am hero power again. <laughs> oh, why? Why? I hate you so much. Okay, so we need to do this. Getting rid of one of these. But, um. In fact, no. I do not want another Haunted Creeper under any circumstances. I would rather waste the two mana. So. Is that. Oh, get away. Beginning of your turn. Mate. I'm still going to leave that alive. Because we're close to being able to finish him off. Although I guess could have just used Gothic and Mad Scientist. Yeah, that's probably the better move, actually, because both have death rattles that benefit me anyway. Yeah. Oops. Oh well. Okay. That's probably going to end up killing him anyway. Um, I think so. Hero power first. At least it's not a spectral spider. And you can get kill that face. And yeah, I think I would rather have. Lady Bloom all duplicated most of all, more than anything on my board just now. Because, but then again that does only have one health left, but if I could keep that up with loads of Blue Moles that'd be pretty good. So yeah, move on. Still sound like a wrestler. Okay, so that's this week's Tavern Brawl. It's actually really fun. I like the pre-made ones for change every now and then. Maybe every every third Tavern Brawl or so is how I would prefer them, or every other even, just for something that you can quickly jump into and that. But we've had um, reprisals for a few weeks, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, anyway, it's a good tavern brawl, give it a go. Until next time. Oh wait, let's open the card pack. Yeah. I think I've got everything. I'm not sure about Holy Fire, but I don't really play Priest, so. Eh, oh well. So, yeah, there'll be, I bet you can click at the end for you to watch some of my other videos. So, until next time, bye. Thanks for watching.